just had to make a break. Hmm. So what are you going to do, Quillen, me old brook? What dastardly plan do you have up your sleeve? Where am I? That was quick, whatever you did. I've looked into your records. Quillen, Commander? Aliyahim van Houten, that incident at the Jujin one year ago. Case 102, the release of your latent powers from that systematic administration of mental enhancement drugs. In that instant, your ether value had increased beyond 400, and in that moment, two were critically wounded and three required recycling. Am I right? Please stop. But this record is wrong. This wasn't the usual uncontrollable mental side effects. Uh, this was caused by the awakening of your other inner self. My other self? Where is Faye? Where is everyone? They will be used as an offering for the resurrection of the gazelle ministry. The same fate awaits that girl, the artificial organism. I've already taken enough samples from her. I'm already well into the full stage of my plan. All I need now is the final factor. Hence your friends are no longer of any use to me. They're worthless. But you are different. Are you planning on sending them to the same fate as those people in that research facility? Doing all this for your own selfish ambitions. Do you know what you're doing? <coughs> oh yeah. People playing with other people's lives, that's deplorable. I see you, so you see in the research facility. Presently, the Solaris researchers are working on genetic engineering down there. It's just a nest for fools who learned the despicable pleasure of playing with their own organic creations. They seek only serendipity and inhumanity. That is not my place. I specialize in molecular engineering nanotechnology. Do you know what this is? A nanomachine, a molecular machine. This is the assembler, which is one of those nanomachine, yeah, nanomachine machines. It can break down molecules and atoms and reconstruct them into anything. Each of these spheres are equivalent to an atom. Until recently, we were only able to produce materials which were several times the size of this. Thanks to that girl, the one we obtained from the ruins of Zeoboam, civilization, we are now able to make it this compact and elaborate. <coughs> to think that such a mechanism was created 4,000 years ago is quite astonishing, you know. Up until we discovered this, the work was rather crude. The best we could possibly do until now was to apply amino acid solutions to wounded areas for what the fuck that is, or to seal up any particular abilities. I'm sure you have some e exposure to genetics when you were in Jujin. <coughs> Each type of those enzymes inside the DNA are also molecular machines that were created by nature. That is, if we are indeed the progeny of the very first organism. What do you think of accomplish? What do you think you will accomplish by using that molecular machine? What connection do I have with it? Although the nano machines up until now could recombine DNA, they couldn't uncover any information in the intron, which are located in the replacements of the double helix. However, the, ne the newer nano machines easily discovered this data, data that originally should have not existed and we are about to see the results of that. <coughs> hmm, according to the transferred record, it depicts a similar wave frequency as expected. And yes, the Uribolus ring. That is it, isn't it? The Yang and the Khan's actions. This explains everything. Eliaham, you were the mother. Mother? Yes. This is what your genetic exon looks like before replacement. This is the conceptualized form of the intron which carries information that isn't supposed to exist. Observe, this is the Uriabolus ring which contains intron information 
which only exist in certain people. You were abolished if we were to atomize such a thing. Wouldn't you be interested in that? What type of information it would have to offer us? Uh, you are beautiful. When I look at you, I appreciate the artist aspects of the human form. It's its elaborateness. I can't help but feel the importance of that. As if my molecular machine is unworthy of you. You haven't changed since then. Just like the other one, Lacan. <coughs> yeah, well, unlike um, Lacan and uh, Sophia, um, you're still alive. Uh, Oi, wanker! <coughs> Are you conscious? Well, yeah. It is impossible to move. This machine has physically cut your nerve signal. You will not be able to lift a finger regardless of what your mind says. What are you going to do to me, to, to Bart and to them? Where is Ellie? Do not worry. They have their roles. I am simply investigating. Damn it! This, what was I? So the battle has been fought, you say. That was discussed earlier by the Ministry. God, God damn it. We weren't born to be used by them. We didn't come all the way to Solaris for that. I, we, everyone, we just want to make a place where we can belong. That's what we were fighting for, but now it is much easier to be given a place to belong than to make one yourself. You do not even understand a simple concept like that. Only the true. Childish ideals pale when placed before reality, but actual, actually many are satisfied with that. Being given one's place frees one from any risks. Misfortunes can be blamed on others. Do you know why people cannot exist alone, but only under the, some bigger concept such as a group or a country? People need a place to go to be themselves. The more stable it is, the more effective it is. The ministry gives them such a place. Under total surveillance, there is no need to bear the risk of maintaining one's own individuality. They simply live under the delusion of being an individual. What could be easier? Facts are facts, so let's just accept them. It will be easier for all of us. Resistance is futile. It only makes things painful. I, I. Do you still intend to do something about it? Look at yourself. What do you think you could possibly do at this stage? You can't move. You could not even protect your friends who fought with you when they needed you. You could not even protect the most important person in your life, Ellie. I'm a failure. I'm sorry. Stop, please. You can do nothing. Quit it. Oh dear. Now we may take our time and talk it. See? Told you. I was smoking crack, didn't you? Hmm, Ramses. Ha 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 ha. So, what do you want, cocksucker? Oh, I've come to gloat. Commander. What are you? Where? What? Where? I'm asking you where? That, that hurts. Please, please stop. Where is he? Where? I know you know. Take me to him. Who are you referring to when you say that man? Are you talking about Faye? Faye, Faye, Faye! Who gives a fuck about Faye? Faye? In what way is he more superior than I? I will not accept it. I will not. Uh, Ramses, that drug, a mental stabilizer. Why are you so shook up like that? What's forcing you to go through all this? What happened between you and Faye? Damn it, Faye. I'll show you. I. Yeah, um, the guy's uh, not dealing with a full deck of cards, I swear. Ramses? 
Alô? Mm, you, you might want to have sex or something and release that pressure because uh, you're going to give it a heart attack if you stress yourself. Hey, hang in there. Hey, you're conscious now. Let's go. You traitor. Stop, stop, Faye. Don't stop. But he betrayed us. He betrayed us and early. Stop, Faye. It's your mistake. Punch him out. Let's go. Come, let me go. Well, I'm not really making much of an effort to um, kick him back. Calm down, Faye. Bart isn't lying. Sutton is one who helped us. Billy. Billy? Hmm. What Billy says is, you listen. Why? Give him a punch anyway. Listen very carefully. That limiter is implanted in our bodies. Right now, this research facility is the only place where we can get them removed. Sighton misled Krillian and the other guys and brought us in here to remove the limiter. What? The doc was just... Is that true? Yeah. Doc. That is not the only reason I brought you here. Those who want to become independent from Solaris must know the actual situation and its true form. Who is doing what and why? Obstensibly, I received a covert order from the Emperor to contact the body, wanted by the Ministry to send the data, and if possible, bring the body back. That was my duty. As a result, I had no choice but to deceive you. Please forgive me. Give him a kick in the head, just for good measures. I see how it is. Besides, I myself had a matter that had to be verified in this uh, facility. For sure. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that after we escape from here. There's something we, you must know. Yeah, you're a schizo, dude. <coughs> By the way, Saiten, you did remove Phase Limiter, didn't you? What? Yes, yes, of course. That is. All right then. Let's get out of here. Wait, what happened to Ellie? Weren't you with her? I only was taken to Quillen's research lab and could not be stopped. I am sorry. Why only Ellie? I do not know. But one of those things bothers me when Quillen took Ellie. I had a chance to acquire Ellie's cellular information. I analysed it and found something very interesting. Excuse me, I mean unusual. There is no limiter implant in her. There's no limiter? Isn't that because Ellie is from Solaris? Even Solaris citizens have a uh, limiter implanted when they are born. There are exceptions for certain people like myself and Ramses. Those limiters can be removed later on through the treatment such as the one I did for Bar. But you must have uh, permission from the Ministry to do so. Is that why Ellie? There must be more to it than that. I don't know the reason. Krillin is so absorbed by her data. I don't care what the reason is for now. Let's help Ellie and get the fuck out of here. You're right. If we mess up here, I put those guys who went to help Ellie's parents in danger. Saiten, we're going to Krillin's private research lab as planned. We'll meet up at the rendezvous point. What about Doc? There is still something left to be done. I'll go destroy the last gate. Doc, a sword. Yes, you gave it to me as uh, I was leaving. I used to use it before I met her. For a long time I vowed not to use it for killing her. But now is not the time to contemplate morals. It is not fair for me to be the only innocent one. I see, but... Yes. You're always so mischievous, Doc. It is in my nature, I am sorry, forgive me. Yo, Saiten, let me handle Faye and Ellie's situation. Now that the limiter is removed, Solaris doesn't stand a chance. 
Oh, I wouldn't go that far, mate. Oh, yes, by the way, young one, about the effects of removing the limiter. The results will not show up that quickly. Already, your physical limiters have been removed naturally. The part I have removed is the psychological section, that is, the subconscious fear and veneration for the ministry and the emperor have been removed. Basically, you will be able to battle against them without any fears of hesitations. It is not that you have suddenly become more powerful. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, I'm deadly serious, boy. Right. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to save it for today because, uh, anyway. You have a lovely evening, and I shall see you another time. Bye-bye.